All right, so this week's video, I'm down here in the Milwaukee Harbor. We're gonna be fishing from shore. I'm with my good buddy, Joe Schmidt here, who helps me do a little guiding. He's also a charter captain. And uh, there's a lot of awesome shore fishing here, isn't there, in the winter? I mean, this is probably one of the best places in the world where guys can come from shore and have a legitimate shot. Catching like a 30 pound brown this year, we're catching a lot of perch, right? Perch, browns, steelhead. We're getting a little bit of everything out here. This, this, this perch bite's been going on for the last four or five weeks now. And in the last couple of years, it's been down for the perch, and the perch is definitely making a comeback. We're catching a lot of small ones, and we're just gonna sort through them and catch the big ones. And we're, uh... Bite, got a bite. Hey, we got a bite, gotta go. Big perch, Joe, you got a big perch? A perch or a brownie? All right. Oh yeah, that's a big perch. What a nice big perch. Lift it up, nice and easy. Six pound test here, trying to take it easy. What I'm using here is a three-way rig, ounce and a half bell sinker, three-way rig. He's got that hook just buried. I'm using a colored yellow hook with a yellow bead and a fathead or a lake shiner. And these nice perch down here before work. Can't beat it. Come down here, get five of these. Get home for tonight, clean them for supper. Can't complain. It's nice to see that these perch are coming back. I used to come down here five, six years ago and then the bite kind of died and now see that yellow hook, the bead, these perch are coming back. Nothing wrong with that. Nice job, Joe. Thank you. Three, two, three more, I got my limit. Alright. <laughs> What do you got going on here, Jimmy? Jimmy, you're a nice animal. fish. I haven't seen him. Oh, it broke me off. I guess the drag was too tight. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, I came back over here to check my rod. You can help me with that brown. Oh. Look what I got. Thanks, Danny. Danny. That's a dandy. Oh. Look at that, Look at that jumbo. Jumbo perch, trout. Turn them sideways a little bit so I can see them. Look at those colors. Look at the yellow fins. Gorgeous fish. Nice fish. All right, Jimmy's got one on. Jimmy's got one on. Jimmy's got one on. What do you got on here, Jimmy? It ain't no perch. Is that big white fish? Big white fish, Jimmy. Nice job. Big white fish. Giant white fish. Wow. Take that home and eat it. That's gonna be a. Joe says that we'll take that home and eat it. I'm not going back. Sorry. <laughs> Nice white fish, man. Look at the size of that whitey. Holy cow. Pick that one up, Jimmy, and show us that. I mean, it's uh, right now, right now it's uh, early December. What is it? Right around the... December 6th. December 6th. And uh, we're down here catching whitefish, perch, brown trout. There you go. Hold them up. All right, so here's the rig that I'm using from shore here to catch these brown trout. I've got a darter head jig here. It's a Gamagatsu darter head jig. It's a 3 8 ounce. I've got 12 pound test fluorocarbon leader here with a uni knot on the 10 pound braid. And I've got a medium light rod and I've got a Fluger Patriarch spinning reel. And that thin braid allows me to throw this jig and gulp out really, really far. Basically all I'm doing is I'm taking this darter head jig right here and the gulp minnow, it's a four inch white gulp minnow. Great bait, and I'm just hooking it just like this. Running it right down the back, coming straight out the middle, and there you go. That bait right there catches me more fish, multi-species across the Midwest than anything else. All right, so this is what I'm doing. It's a little windy out here, but I'm taking it middle, and I'm firing it way out there. I'm just letting it sink. deep out there so I'll let it take for like 15 seconds. Little pop. Alright, I'm hooked up, got another nice brown trout on shore. Early December in Milwaukee Harbor. Catching perch on the three-way rig. We're getting some nice brown trout on the jig and gulp, man. What an awesome bait. It is producing a lot of fish. There he is, Joe. Good looking fish, isn't it? Can we just hold him right here real quick? I'll lift him up. Jimmy, you can come a little, come up here for a sec. Look at this fish. Look at 
that brown trout from shore. How cool is that? Coming down here from shore, public access, simple baits, jigs, and gold. Catch a lot of fish in the harbor. I'm gonna get this one back. What I'm using here is a three-way. Then I got a foot-long leader with a one and a half ounce pyramid sinker. Then I got a three foot six pound fluorocarbon leader with a yellow bead and a hook. This hook had some yellow coating on it. I like to give it a little color. And what we're using are fat, large fat heads minnows and also lake shiners. And I'm hooking them right in the back. I try not to spine them. And we're fishing on the bottom, basically throwing it out there as far as we can. And those perch and trout are eating just like that. Pretty simple. Throw it out there. Or I'll take a brownie. Okay, I let it sink to the bottom. What I usually do is I put my eggs in these seat clamps. A lot of these other guys are using rod holders and everything else. What I'm doing is using these seat clamps here. I'll kind of let it settle down to the bottom. And I'll just tighten up my line. Let that sinker kind of anchor itself down there. Give it about 10, 20 seconds before it goes back. Kind of tighten it up. Tighten up the line there, okay. It's kind of tightening it up. Take a look at look at your rod tip. You've got a little bend in it, so that way you can detect your bites. Some of these smaller perch that we're catching, it's kind of hard to detect them. You check your lines, and next thing you know, you got a perch on. You don't even know I'm biting, so it helps to keep pressure, it makes tension on your line as well. Eric, I think I got a brown here. We're out here fishing for these perch, and browns like these minnows too. It's fun on these. Spinning. Nice. Yeah, and it's also like fishing for fishing for perch, and I'm catching brown and taking the drag out. Look at that. Catching perch and brown trout. Pretty Look cool. That. Yeah, nice little brownie. Yeah. There you go. Take Whoa. The drag. Squeeze. Can we go bring that net down. Get him in this. Now this is where this extension on the frable comes in handy. Without this extension, you're never gonna get a fish in like this. Get him in the old frame hole, Joey! Yeah! Yeah, buddy! Take that. Nice job. Yeah. It's always a bonus catching browns when you're fishing for perch. There you go, buddy. Thank you. So we're gonna get that one unhooked real quick and get it right back in the water. Oh, that's a nice six, seven pound brown. Get in the sun here. Nice, gorgeous fish. I'm gonna release it. Let it get up to 40 pounds. Hopefully another world record. All right, buddy. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Perch fishing, catching browns. Nice and easy, head first. He is hooked up and he's catching them. What do we got here, buddy? This is a good, good brown. Getting the fish into the net is the hard part. All right, in the... Well, we're getting a picture of Jimmy's nice brown. Look at this. From shore, Milwaukee Harbor, casting. What'd you catch it on, buddy? Caught it on a gulp. Chicken gulp. All right, man. Let's get her back. Yep. All right. All right, so Jimmy's got another one on. What you got, Jimmy? I don't know. I think it looks like a cold open. Take a look at this fish. See what we got here, Jimmy. We caught myself a coho, man. Oh, yeah. So we caught cohos from shore today white fish, perch, brown trout. Where'd you go, buddy? That's a female coho. That'd be a good one for us. Hey, we had an awesome morning here in the Milwaukee Harbor with my buddy Jimmy. And Joe, and uh, Jimmy, what'd you end up catching? I got a cell phone. Jimmy caught a cell phone along with cohos, brown trout, some big perch we caught here, white fish. So early December, you want to come fish from shore? Lots of fishing shore opportunities here in the Milwaukee Harbor.